What up, fam? It's your boy G. Rich. I'm back in the kitchen today to make some homemade turkey soup. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm on this homemade thing, fam. I'm on this homemade thing. I want this time of the year. It's fall. It's getting cool outside. So you want some good home cooked, feel good, home cooked, feel good mo uh, food, okay? Mood food. That's what I call it. Yes, sir. Anyway, now I got a whole turkey here, but I already cut the um, arms and legs off. Yes, sir. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the rest of the skin off of it. Then I'm going to clean it off again, and then I'm going to boil it. I'm going to boil the meat off of it. Probably have. I'm going to add some other stuff to it later. You will see what it is, and um, we'll go from there. But man, I tell you, man, this it's it's a it's a hump day meal, and um, you might not see this video probably till uh, uh, Thursday or something like that. But that's okay. It's good for the soul. It's good for you. Good for you. Good for the family right now. Yes, sir. So hold. told you I'm going to boil it. I'm going to boil the whole thing. And I'm only going to, I'm only going to use half the meat to make my soup, okay? And the other half we're going to save. We're going to use that for something else. Yes, sir. When it get done, I'm going to let it cool off, pull the meat off, and then we're going to go from there.
some of the uh, items I got going into my turkey soup. Okay, you got the potatoes here, corn, green beans, and here's the veggies. And I'm going to add some, you know, some other season later when, uh, whenever the turkey gets done. So we're just going to um, hold off on that. But that's what's going on. So I'll be back. I'm gonna, right now I'm going to go ahead and check on the turkey and see how it's coming. Yes, sir. So we're going to get get this thing started and show you what I put in my turkey soup. Old-fashioned, homemade turkey soup. Hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam, let's go ahead and check and see how it's coming. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. See how it's splitting in half a little bit? It's getting it's boiling pretty good. It's coming along. That's it. Fam, let's check it out. I know it's been cooking for a minute, so. Oh, look how, look how it don't drop down in there. Yes, yeah, sir. It's about that time to get ready to take it off. And I'm, I'm going to let it cool for a while, and then I'm going to pull the meat off. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at that. That even smells good. And all I put in it was salt. Damn, so here we go. I got the meat that I, the part that I want out. So, and this part here, I'm going to just let Teresa do whatever she want to do with that or whatever. But, um. I got the meat that I want, and, and um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let it cool off, and I'm going to pull the meat off of it, and then we'll go from there. I'll be back with start uh, uh, getting the pot and stuff ready for my soup, and put the seasoning and stuff in it, and I'm going to show you what kind of season that you're going to need, okay? Yes, sir. So I'll be right back. That means hold on tight. Okay, fam, here we go. All right, as you can see, I got some clean, clear water in here, warming up. Here's my meat. Yes, sir. Now I'm gonna take it, and I wanna sit it down in there. I don't wanna plop it down in there, cause that water kinda hot. Yes, sir, sit it right on down in there. Good old turkey meat. By the time I'm done, this pot gonna be filled up. And you know it's seven of us in here, so, yes, sir. You have to eat like that. More than enough, we can go back two or three times. All right, that should be enough. Okay, fam, this is what you're gonna need. I got some, either you can use chicken broth, but I got chicken bouillon. For the chicken bouillon, that's what I have. Um, black pepper, accent, cornstarch, because I don't like to use, I use the cornstarch so I can thicken it up, thicken it up a little bit. And I got some uh, um, vegetable oil and also three cups of the turkey broth. It made, it made its own broth. I'm going to use that also. The reason I didn't just take all the juice off the broth and, and, and cook it in is because, you remember, I put salt in it. And I don't want, I got some, some stuff that has salt in it and I wanted it to be just right. I wanted to create it and make it my own. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull that broth in there. The ingredients and seasoning and stuff in there. Yes, sir. Okay, fam, so here I go. Here's my mixed vegetables that I had cut up. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. We're going to go with some green beans. You'll see how it looks when I finish. And some corn. So you can go ahead and put all this stuff in with the meat now. Because you know the meat is, what, 90% done. That's all I need. I don't need that much of that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and season it out. We're not going to put the potatoes in there. Because you know the potatoes, you know... I don't want it. You don't want to cook it the whole time. I want to cook. I want to put the potatoes in there when it's like, um, uh, when I got like 15 to 20 minutes left to go, then I'll add the potatoes so they can be nice and, uh, they can be soft, but not mushy. I don't, you don't want them mushy. Never. Okay. This is what I have. You have one half of a cup of the chicken bouillon. Yes, sir. 
good and seasoned. Okay, you got one tablespoon of accent. This is this is what I prefer, but this is optional because a lot of people accent does have MSG in it. A lot of people can't have MSG. One tablespoon of black pepper, yes sir, and one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. Now, G. Rich, do it. Get it on in there. Get all that out of there. There you go. And one fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Y'all gonna learn today, boo boo. All right, so we're gonna let that boil for a while uncovered because I don't want it to overflow. You can, you can boil it without it spilling over. Put it between uh, six and seven. I'm gonna let it boil for a while, and then when it's almost done, that's when I'll come back and add the potatoes to it. Yes, yeah, sir. It's gonna be good. It's almost like a goulash, but it's, go it's going down. It's G Rich style. Oh, okay, fam, I wanted to come check it out. Look how the turkey is coming up to the top of the uh, pot. You see it? That's good. It's a good sign. See, it's not even making a mess while it's boiling. If you turn it down enough, it'll still boil and not get all over your stove. As you can see, I have a one cup of uh, crushed tomatoes over there also. It's because the family wanted it. Okay, that's optional as well, but you can add tomatoes to it too. So I'll be back to add the uh, potatoes and then the tomatoes on top of it. Fam, I tell you. I taste the water, I taste it, I taste the water, it tastes so good. I'm gonna taste it again for you in a minute when I add the other stuff. But I tell you, man, this is a good home hearty meal. Yeah. Okay, fam. Alright. As you can see, you see it don't cook down some. That's what I want to see. Okay, now we're gonna add the potatoes in it. Mm -hmm. This is going to be some good eating, fam. You got everything you need in it, just about. You have your turkey meat, it's protein. You got your vet cut up vegetables in there, yes sir. And then you got your starch, the potatoes, and the cornstarch. All in one pot. Mm-hmm. Good, hearty, healthy meal. Got to eat healthy sometime, right? I'm putting it in there slow because that's... I don't want the stuff plopping everywhere and I want the potatoes to go ahead and sink all the way down in there. Yes, sir. I don't want to put no extra water in there. Yes, sir. Now here's one. This is optional also, but I advise you to try it. It's so good. Uh, crushed tomatoes into this pot. One cup. Come on, fam. Y'all see it. Y'all definitely see it. Look at that. All right, we're going to let that cook down until it's ready. And we'll be right back. Hey, fam. Ooh-wee. It's been a long process. Let's see. Oh, man. You see what I'm saying? There you go. Don't cook down. That's what it's supposed to look like. Look at all them nutrients. Ooh wee. My mouth watering already, fam. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, man. I'm going to go ahead and fix my baby her bowl. And I'm going to let y'all see it, man. Appreciate y'all. Before I show my finished look for my wife, fix my wife plate, I'm going to go ahead and sample it. Ooh wee. Look at the steam come out of there.
right, here we go. Mm. Man, come on, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, my word. All right, fam. There's my wife, Bo. Look at that. That's the thing of beauty, fam. Hey, man, like I said, I appreciate y'all, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all be safe out there. Don't for, don't forget to vote. Stay safe. I'd rather y'all get up and go out, put your mask on, get suited and booted, and go go and actually vote in person. But if not, if so you have to do it from the house, then do it from the house. But to each his own. Hey, man, love y'all to life. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. G Rich out. In your mind.